Hey, it's been a minute since I've been on this bad boy. Also, as of right now, Demon Slayer is already out on Crunchyroll, and I missed it. Can we talk about missed opportunities? I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I was, I was waiting for um, Hulu, and it wasn't even on Hulu. But with all that aside, and you boys work on a new profile pic and um, banner and new intro. Welcome back to another video. You know, uh, I say all of this because... I realized I don't do intros in my streams. I be forgetting. I start the stream and I be playing another game and I switch over. And I don't always post the first game I play because sometimes it's just me on Minecraft solo until I get enough people in. Or me doing crazy crap with training and smash. But this time I'm starting off on Jump Boy. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment down below when you're done, turn on post notifications. And uh, I, I, I gotta mention this guy. I'm uh, a victim of this myself. If you subscribe to a whole bunch of people that you're not watching, not I, I do the same, all right? I give a subscribe to anybody I can because I love the support. But I'm at a limit now where I can't subscribe anymore. So, sadly, I'm going to go through and unsubscribe from people I'm not watching. But that's the reason why I can turn on my post notifications because I'm actually getting notified on videos I like to watch. So, if you do the same, you can turn on post notifications and be comfortable knowing that any notifications you get are either me or somebody else you enjoy to watch. So... Just want to go ahead and put that all out there, because your boy is about to, you know, I'm trying to think. Do we play online some, or do we, you know, we got a lot of backed up videos. Now, I am going to make a video compilation, highlight video reel, slash and, um, live action sequence to a couple of these fights with my brother. We're going to park and fight, um, clock and feed, the fight and everything he's going to do. I hope you guys enjoy that. But until that comes out, I can show you some of the fights we, we've been doing. Because he's honestly outside of um, my boy Day Day, you know, um, DXY. So I guess you can say Dex Dex, or whatever you like to pronounce it. I'm going to say Dex. Next, I guess Dexy. Yeah, or we can have the Y be silent. So Dex Dex. Dexy. Dexy X. Dex, Dexy Dex. Dexy Dex. Yeah, I'm just going to say Dexy Dex. Yeah. My boy Dexy Dex, right? You know, he he he's better in on um, Dragon Ball Fighters, and I'm better in Jump. And we both clash with each other, each one, because that's just mass skill and bribery, you know. I'm going to have to buy Dragon Ball Fighters, because I do not have it now, because Game Pass is over. And I just got regular gold, okay? And they took it off Game Pass anyway. But I'm going to end up buying it. I just got um, sort of online... Adaptation, so I'm gonna start playing that. And don't worry, I know if I send the Elden Ring, I actually have already streamed Elden Ring. I just haven't um edited footage of it yet. But your boy can keep a lot and edit a lot, especially with the format we've been recording with. So enough stalling. Let's get straight into it. And I think we're gonna go ahead and start off with hmm, an online battle to ready to get ourselves fresh. And then we're gonna go straight to uh then we'll go straight to uh, replaying. So, let's do that. So, I'm not sure if I uh, even mentioned this. Uh, I'm not even sure if I... I think I used the team against um, Dexy. I'm just going to say, yeah, Dexy. I, I don't know. Whatever one kind of mind. You'll know who I'm talking about at this point. I'm not sure if I used the team against him. I'm pretty sure I did. But this was one of the most recent combos with the team I made. I mean, I should have used Gohan. So, I think I'll fight with Gohan again. I think I fought with Gohan against my brother, but... Our real clashes are with our real people with goodwill. You know, Bardo got his lick back, by the way. Uh, all right. uh, I forgot how to calm the look. I forgot how to calm the look, man. I got how the combo went. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Don't roast me. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. That's that's one of them. The other one when I use my chain that okay, doesn't do uh, so much damage. Dang the TV loud. It doesn't do but so much damage, which allows my character to um, be able to do his finisher while I'm getting it um, nerfed. Let me turn on the TV a little bit. You can get some free hits on it. Let me turn on the TV just a little bit, man. 
each game has a different set volume, I have to say. It for. But I didn't mean to switch characters, but it's all good. Everybody get to see my pick and roll with Sasuke combo. And see, usually I would um, put down my orbs and I would call them back to me. But, you know, hard to get these off. Because I can't afford to get hit once. Like, usually the shield makes it actually go off. See, even the clash makes them disappear. You would think. Oh, shoot, hold on. You would think only the daggone um, damage. Oh, Nah, they have to make it for the whole thing. Come on, man, we gotta fake them hoes out. We gotta fake them hoes out. Let's make this hoe quick. I don't think I even have a combo with um, Sauce Game and him, but it was the only way I could get a support at the end. I think I do Fireball, or do I do Chidori? Yeah, I think it's Dory into it, but I just messed it up. Crap. I didn't fade. Bro. Actually, I think I got some of the audio for my brother and my matches. So, I think I got some. I'll have to check my... Um, I'll have to check my Apple Watch, because... I put on my Apple Watch that we forget him. Well, I guess it's on my phone now, so I don't know why I even said that. Wow, well, I meant to pop, I was trying to power up, but you know how to get me Here we go, baby. What? Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Whoa. Come on, my boy. This fight is reaching this limit quick. God knows. Definitely be playing. Oh, he got me. And it did a slow mo, which means I was in the middle of a hit. I'm hot. Yep. And I'm all types of hot. God knows. Thank God. Character level zone. I just realized that. Why would anybody want to fight online with character level zone? Look what you've done. It's old boy anyway. I didn't even finish story mode for everybody watching. This is came from me doing a whole lot of fights against my brother. And um sometimes we have character level on, but that's because Killer was already maxed out just like the rest. I mean it goes back to being fair. But that's the point. And I sometimes like to hold myself to see how good am I. So I let myself use weak characters. But I can do this in the air? I j I never realized that. Oh. Get out of here. Oh. Oh. Dang, I'm missing up the combo. I know he stopped picking up standing there. Got him. I'm gonna let you bang me up. I want these my friends on the way out. So go ahead. Yes, sir. I'm letting you get that lick off. And you use that as desperation anyway. Never use your finisher fully healed, catch on or not, unless you really have to or you know guarantee it'll, it'll do the job. I don't know what he was trying to pick with that. But you know what I'm about to do. 
I'm gonna let him go ahead and get his licks in. Now, I'm about to show you an example of using your move when you fool. Uh-oh, I don't know. That's because I can't. He's dead. Think about it. That means the, the, the game developers decided to put everybody's moves in here from the ending of the manga, even though it was never animated until years after the game released. That's crazy. Just think about that. This is about to be commentary, one-on-one, -on -one, clean fight. Cause no. Clean fight. It's a back ago and um I did a combo on the, my hero and it's a combo I did in Jump Force. I wanted to prepare. I did it a while ago. I'm not sure if I can remember if I can still do it. Far play like one I can compare the two. My God, these, these I know these at least were some boxing matches. You see, these right here. They got subbed out, you know, and they got subbed out for stuff. But these right here, man, they some boxing matches. Let's get straight into it, my guy. Let's get straight into it. Now, remember now, if I find some audio from the matches, I'll make sure to put it in. But this one, I know for a fact, I know these are too recent. But my brother, bro, he mains killer, okay? Mains killer. He's nice. He's nice. My boy, my boy Dead today, he's clean. But I, there's no hate towards him at all, but I don't think he can be my brother. Cause, cause I, he, my brother plays on my level, but the difference is the way Dex and me play are just how everybody else play. You know, we like to use combos and stuff. Because my brother don't do that, he's, he's unrecognizable on the battlefield. If you don't know what he's going to do, because he'll just do anything at random. Like, people think I'm a random player, because I like to be at rat. But because I still play by a certain format, my randomnessity is still predictable to a certain degree. Because you know if I hit you, that's why you can class so much. But you know if I hit you, I'm going to try to get my combo off. I'm not just going to hit you and stop. This brother will hit you, stop, and go back to knowing you're going to, like, you can't play with his brother. You can't, he'll risk it all, and he has no morals. So he'll use his finisher without charging up. He does not care, so you have to send him your P's and Q's with his brother. Like, if I hit you, you know what's gonna happen. The whole chain is gonna happen to you. The strongest combo I can do, or the most convenient one, you know what's gonna happen. That's why I have to switch up. Even with switching characters, like, you know how I'm approaching, there's only one, there's only like three good ways of approaching in with your character when you swap, and you're trying to actually get damage done. He doesn't swap, so because he doesn't swap, he would, like, I'm not to say he does never, but that's the point. Because he typically, like, 90% of the time don't swap, you can't afford to just play as if he's not going to, because he'll call him out. Then he got the Godspeed Pong and the Godspeed Finisher, and it's like, come on, bro, look at this. And he'll hit this hoe every time, because he doesn't do any hits beforehand. Most of the time, now he does. He got he got much better. It's hard to predict. Then he'll call Vegeta out. He started doing that mainly because of me, and because the Vegeta move is so annoying and targets you. And look at this. All that I did amounts to nothing. He got me right back down. And then he'll grab you on some wheat. He'll grab you on some wheat. Look at this. You can't play with this brother. And that that move of his got so much a got so much um AOE. It's crazy. Look at him. I got lucky. I got lucky right there that he wasted his back gauge. If I, if I was at his HP when I, I would have lost that. Because that hit would have been enough. And the best, the worst part is, and I say all this because I like the challenge. Because I do be horn sometimes by picking characters I'm not mainly with. Like, Toshiro is clean one on one. Boruto and the ones, I'm a horn. But I like I like the fight because we go straight to boxing. Now look at this crap. Look at this crowd, bro. And because of how Killer was set up, he has a whole bunch of piercing and, and heavy slashing moves. So, like, his count is grab. I can call it my support and he's hit. 
I, I beat all of his support and I hit him, he's not hit. It doesn't even matter, it doesn't even matter if he's close or not. He'll still get hit. Because the slashing move, so, for some reason, because of how it's set up with the, it's just like trunks. Everybody's getting hit, bro. Godspeed broken. I, I keep explaining to people. Godspeed and Kill and Hisuka have two of the best counters in the game. And I say that because I know people can be like, didn't you just use Renji and he has the same type of counter? No. Renji counter is a bootleg version of Godspeed. Because yes, I can use on everything just like Godspeed. But, and I can mash it at any time. But guess what? I still take damage. So if I'm close to death or I'm countering a move that does a lot of damage, yeah, he's going to get hit. But I might die before that I end up hitting him. With God's speed, he's not getting hit. He's not. Unless I'm shilling, like way ahead of time, God's speed's going to hit me every single time. The count, the supporter, my character. I mean, it doesn't matter. And because he can press it at any time, I have to be particular how I approach him. I can't even wait and retime it just to grab. And if I just let him sit there, he's going to charge up. And then I'm done. He gets stabbed with electricity on top of extra speed. Like, and he get attack bonus. Like, come on, bro. He's real wounded. And the only reason why I'm complaining is because he has no real counter in the game besides being good. Like, if Luffy would have been how he should have been, right, and been immune to all electric attacks, it wouldn't have been as OP as people think. Because moves like God's, like Lightning Palm and God's speed, he can still take the physical damage from his hands touching, just not the electrical. But moves like Lightning Bolt should not even affect him at all. At, at worst, it should still knock him back. They shouldn't do any actual damage to the character. If they still wanted to make it so that it's not just an inboard move, it should still it should be able to knock him back at best. I say that because it's really shown that if your reach your killer will get hit by another lightning move, it does minimum damage to them compared to everybody else. But yet with Luffy, that's not even shown. Another reason why I say that is because when Todoroki get hit with Ice on Fire, it doesn't do anything unless he's using the like if he's using an Ice move and you hit him with Fire. Like let's say this: if I'm using Harrison, um, um, it's heaven, heaven piercing walls, right? And you hit me with like a fireball, I take double the damage because I'm using my cold side of my body. Even though, well, I should say I take normal damage. My fire buff is gone. I mean, immunity is gone because I'm using no Ice. But if I were to use a fire move right as you're hitting me with a fireball, the, the damage is reduced more than it is normally because now I'm using all fire. And that's clean. That's really clean. It's, it, you can barely notice it in the heat of battle, but it's very clean. And I like that. They thought all that, and I know people are going to say, well, he's a DLC. So, of course, they knew ahead of time to put that in there once they all they messed up. Well, let me say this then. Because they updated the game countless times even after it got canceled. Because combos I used to do, I can no longer do because frame breaks have changed. I'll give you a better example with characters that was in the game from the very beginning. You ready? With, with uh, Kakashi. He does three moves inside of his, he does, he uses three chakra elementals, uh, chakra natures in his calendar. Electricity, um, water, and earth. So I put it like this, when I use my electricity one on, uh, let's say, Goku and Vegeta, I think electricity hurts them the most out of everybody here. I mean, like, it hurts them most than out of all the elements. You'll see the initial hit from their count, from the counter does more damage to them than it does someone like uh, Boo. You can actually see that. It's, it's minor because Goku and Vegeta health are so stacked, but you can see it. But when I do it, but when the um, Earth part hits, a fire user, no, no, I, I can't exactly remember. I know for a fact when the water part hits a fire user, it does, or somebody that's weak to water, I guess it was ice, kind of, I think it's calculated to put it in. Regardless, it does more damage. That's just Kakashi. He's been in the game from day one. Or how the earth part does less to Gara. But all Gara attacks do more damage to Killer Wood than Gon attacks do. Or how Gon attacks hit, well, I guess it's a boost. Or, oh crap, I'm down with one. Or how, and I, all this is a tangent for no reason. I say all this because bungee gum counter can counter all attacks and projectiles, as long as it's not to a certain degree. 
Now get a count on command layer. You just have to time everything right, because then it'll count too big of a uh, projectile to count on something like that. So that's why I say Yusuke and Killua. The only reason why they're tied is because, yes, Killua allows you to negate all damage, but it all revolves around you basically pressing in time and you're. And, I mean, not pressing in time. Really, you can press in the middle of an attack. It really, his is good, but it leaves you vulnerable to long range attacks. Well, Kisuka can type in Noah all damage, but you have to time it right. Because if you don't press it right, then you're screwed. And that's the difference between the two. But they're both pretty good. That's the difference between the two counters. Renji, like I said, he takes damage. And then, because he takes damage, it really holds. The only difference between Renji and the other two is that you can do your finisher right after hitting somebody with a counter. Well, with God speed, unless you hit somebody up against a wall or your counter hits them, you're not going to be able to get it off. And the same goes for um, Hisuka. And where really, Hisuka, you can't do your counter, period. Unless you counter them mid-air when you hit them with the counter. Then they fall down, you can't hit, but that's not always guaranteed to happen. Not to mention, not everybody's going to hit you in the air for you to counter, even though it is hard. And another thing I will say that gives Renji's a, a counter a buff is that if you phase attack and disappear in the middle of a, ho a hole, it will it would not hurt it would not stop Denji because I mean Renji he still takes it under hit, so he'll still count you. Where with God Speed, it can it can sometimes work and sometimes does it depends if he's still in the circle, but he's gonna always hit. That's the difference. Now with Goku, Goku counters clean. And the reason why I say his counter's clean, and I'm going to a whole attention. Because now I'm seeing comments in the section talking about, he really complaining about counters. No, man. Listen, it's not like I'm complaining about counters. It's not what I'm saying. I'm just comparing them and explaining to you why Killua is really stacked up. So, because my brother knows how to play the game. But he can barely beat me with Vegeta unless I use Goku. Because then he gets a mental amp. He gets a mental amp when I pick Goku, and then he plays different. But outside of Vegeta, if I'm mean, outside of Goku, if he picked Vegeta and I pick anybody else that yeah, I'm good with, I'm whooping him. But with Killua, it does not matter. It does not matter, man. It doesn't. So that's why I'm, I'm really upset. And the reason why I'm upset with Luffy so much, because he literally should be immune to lightning. There's no way around him not being immune to lightning. It don't make sense. Now, you see this fight right here? I'm done talking about it. You see this right here, right here, man? This is Gold versus Killua. Straight boxing, baby. Straight boxing between two prodigy children. Between two prodigy children. This is why I love Jump Force. You can't see this anywhere else. You can't see this with this beautiful of graphics and quality. There's mods that can make this boy more busted. Like, I'm going to find a way to mod my Switch if I can't mod my Switch Jump Force, I'm going to have to do it on PC. Or, uh, I know it can only, only mod on PC, but I'm going to find a way to mod the Switch and Xbox. I'm going to buy Jump Force for the PC, but I, I'll do it just for mods. I'll put it in. If I get enough paper from YouTube or anybody donate, one of the first things I'll do, outside of trying to make more paper, obviously, do not, don't, do not hate the hustle, is try to get either HD capture card, so I don't have to stream like this, and so I can have better quality. Or I'll get a nicer PC than I have so I can start getting games mod on. Particularly Jump Force and Minecraft. Because you, I can mod on the Switch on Smash. I just gotta learn how to do it. I might ask Crusher because he's the master of all the mods. He got more mods than those, I think. And he can play his online. And I don't understand how he's not, you know, that it works. So good job. You're gonna have to help me. But, well, he's not the only one. I see streamers doing it. But I say him because I know him. I don't know these streamers. But look at this crap, man. Boxing. We're boxing. And I can't, and this is 1v1s now. So gauge is the whole game. You don't have gauge, it's over. As you can see, I gotta play smart. And he won the game. He won the game. Now, I love Killua versus Barto because Barto's affinity is wind like his father, but he utilizes electricity more than any of them. Because of Sasuke. He uses it in the raw sand gun. He uses it in his sh shuriken jutsu. So, like, it's clean. And I love it 
because the shadow clones and his rhythm echo go hand in hand. My brother can't counter him so much because he doesn't know which which ones are real him, so he don't know where to press it to the shadow clones. He told that to me. I'm not just saying that. And these kids are really boxing because my moves, I have to keep pressuring them. I don't really have too much long range game without like waiting for it to hit me. Outside of my, uh, what's called? Now look at this. Me trying to get that off like I did that one time long ago. Like, look at this, man. This is straight Gamothy working. Look at that, boy. He sleep. He sleep. And I do save matches when he beats me, too. But the only reason why I save the matches, it looked like more when I win. Because I, I save matches if we fight really hard. It's worth it. We we go back and forth with the winning and losing. Even though I think I win more, of course, because I'm like Goku and Vegeta. But it goes back and forth. I primarily save, and he gets a little salty sometimes. But he, he fights harder while I'm in the lead. So that's why most of the fights that you see me recording is ones of me winning. Okay, look at that. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. That, it looked good. He fights harder while I'm in the lead. I fight pretty much the same when he's playing the lead. I'm always trying to fight hard. The difference is will be with which character I'm using. One is more his category than mine because I use my gauge more than he does. So obviously I'll run out faster, which means he get more of an edge. But not to mention that, um, not to mention that, like I said, I fight hard when he's winning, but it's more of a clutch like at the end. So I'm not gonna waste space because see, if I end up, even if I lose a game, but if I win a game, regardless, the clip that's at the bottom gets replaced first. Look at him. I think I got hit too. Nope. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. I can't believe I didn't take advantage of that. You're going to finish it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh. Uh. I like how they did the Shadow Clones in this too, man. I hope jump, I hope, I, I'm seeing a lot more YouTubers posting Jump Force videos now that I made it blow up on t TikTok. And I'm gonna take the credit for that. I'm, I'm gonna be like RDC. I saw them when they said anime wasn't really mainstream to them. I made, it wasn't all me. I'm not even gonna say that. But I would like to believe, and I'm seeing comments with GGs in the chat, and a whole bunch of claps. So I appreciate you jokers. I would like to believe I'm 100% a good chunk of it, at least 30, give me 30% out of all the credits sharing the rest. Give me the whole 30. Because people, if you look at Jump Force, majority videos started being posted after the due date of my first video. I remember looking it up, one of my friends pointed out to me. They pointed out to me. I know you might say bias to their friend, but regardless, the facts have still showed that more Jump Force videos started getting posted at, like after the due date of my initial one and the, where I say this one, the views on YouTube don't really record, um, show it really well. But if you look at the views on TikTok, it comes from that video. So that's why I say that. So all the clips on TikTok that I posted that same day the YouTube video came out, they got good views. And I know you might be like, yo, a thousand or four thousand is nothing. But a thousand or four thousand people playing a game that was dead is something to me. Because even after RDC made that video, their last video they made with Lena and Mark fight each other. People weren't still posting like that until after mine. I'm just saying. But it, I'm not taking credit. I'm just saying I would like to believe I'm a good chunk of the reason why. Because I'll fight me boxing. When I'm when you can hear me talking and then my commentation, you know what I'm saying? And when you can hear us talking, like between me playing against DX or my brother, and you can actually see some real boxing, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I would just like to believe I am a good chunk of that. And I want it to come back, regardless of because of me or not, I want it to come back. Because I would love to start playing with more people online that actually likes to play and not the people that still get on the game to this day that's giving it a bad rep. Why are you still getting on the game that you canceled spamming? Like, there's still people getting on here spamming JoJo characters. And I'm like, why you, the game is already dead. Why are you trying to press, oh, whoops, out of habit. Why are you trying to dag on press more people into hating the game? Like, what's going on? I do not understand. And yeah, people do it in all fighting games. But like, I say this especially because I know for first hand that this is not a popular game like that anymore. And people are still doing it. These are the people that I'm like, why, don't cancel the game because of the players. 
Because that means they're going out their way. Now, yes, the game should have patched. Yes, Joe Taro, or, or not Joe Taro, that uh, my golden wind brother, I done forgotten his name. Yes, his rec room. Yes, his whole stand. Yes, I know. They should not have made him as broken as they made him, especially the other JoJo characters that are not DLCs. I know that. Yes, Miriam should have been nerfed a little bit if they were going to keep his moveset. Or they keep his power and then not have his moveset as OP. Yes, I know Yodorichi is fast as a mother trucker. The only thing she's lacking is a god speed counter. Yes, I know all that. Yes, I know people might complain because the Dragon Ball characters have that on, have, on, have finisher combos that's not finishers doing more damage. Do you know? Now, I done tested it. I play Goku in and out. Did you know? For anybody who doesn't know, that the whole the the God knows combo is what people like to call it. Because everybody knows it. All the way up. Everybody knows it. It's a God's knows combo. Everybody knows it. At least that's how my friends like the Dagon put it. Every time I pick Goku or Vegeta. Do you know just doing the whole multi-hit? Especially if you can get off, but if you can't get it off like in, into your heavies, okay. But if you just do your regular hits and then knock them away, do your wide attack, your charge attack, then shoot your command mail, got it done from the air. You know that does more damage unpowered up compared to just the finisher on its own. And then if you get your heavy hits in, it does more damage unpowered up than it does when you power up. Just use your finisher on your own. Especially since Goku and Vegeta can't really use their finishes on their own into a move. Goku's best bet is to grab somebody and throw them. Oh my god, the game freaks. On a replay? Never seen this before. Goku can only do his finisher on a grab. And they can back out of it. So you have to get them when their shield's broke. Vegeta can't do his on the grab unless he had a support hitting him after, even though I believe he should stay on their knees. Wow, I'm actually going to really restart the game. I'm going to have to restart the game. I can't believe it. I really can't believe it.